in this topic we are going to particularly discuss about the transfer of managerial know-how and human resource management practices across national borders in various different countries within multinationals uh, headquarters and subsidiaries and in this topic we are going to discuss what are the vehicles of transfer of this managerial know-how and human resource practices so vehicles of transfer means ke kin cheezon ke through knowledge jo hai managerial or human resource management practices transfer hoti hain uh, multinational corporations mein to do major vehicles hain ek to multinational companies khud hain multinational companies are the vehicle of the transfer of human resource management practices and managerial know how to their subsidiaries and then another uh, important vehicle of transfer is formal and informal education so people who get educated um, on a particular management or human resource management subject they uh, get a degree on that M knowledge about um, human resource management practices is transferred to those people in the form of formal education multinational countries when we talk about them they are a powerful source of knowledge transfer multinational companies they transfer knowledge uh, to a number of entities uh, they don't just transfer knowledge to their own subsidiaries first of all they transfer knowledge to their own subsidiaries so they Uh, the subsidiaries who are managed by a multinational corporation the management practices the way of doing work the human resource management standards and practices all of them they are to some extent replicated from the multinational to the subsidiary uh, but that is not the only place where the knowledge from the multinational is transferred in the local context the knowledge of multinational particularly about management practices and human resource practices that is also transferred to the local suppliers because local suppliers kon hote hain jo aapko input provide karte hain jo aapko raw material aapko basic uh, input jo hai wo provide karte hain so uh, jab tak wo aapke standard pe aur aapki quality standards ke upar Um, पूरे नहीं उतरते उस वक्त तक वो आपके सप्लायर्स नहीं बन सकते सो so, वो करने के लिए ये ज़रूरी है कि आप उनको सिखाएं कि आपने काम किस तरह से करना है सो so, जो लोकल सप्लायर्स हैं वो भी आपकी मल्टानेशनल से सीखते हैं फॉर एग्जांपल अगर होंडा uh, का या टोयोटा का प्लांट जो है वो पाकिस्तान में लगा हुआ है तो बहुत सारी चीज़ें हैं जो कि लोकल uh, सप्लायर्स जो हैं वो उनको प्रोवाइड करते हैं तो होंडा और टोयोटा इस चीज़ को मेक श्योर sure करते हैं कि uh, जो लोकल सप्लायर्स हैं वो उनके क्वालिटी स्टैंडर्ड्स और उनकी वर्क प्रैक्टिसेस को अडॉप्ट करें ताकि uh, जो प्रोडक्ट uh, है जो उनको उनकी गाड़ियों में फिट करने के लिए उनको चाहिए दैट इज़ समथिंग विच इज़ अप टू द मार्क एंड अप टू द पर्टिकुलर स्टैंडर्ड so local suppliers also gain knowledge from the multinationals and then these multinationals they become role model for the other firms so if a multinational corporation is successful a local corporation or a firm will also look at them and will try to replicate their best practices so jo best practices hoti hain multinationals ki unko local firms ke log bhi adopt karte hain और इसका मतलब ये है कि नॉलेज ट्रांसफ़र जो है वो सिर्फ मल्टानेशनल के अंदर ही नहीं हो रहा बल्कि और फर्म्स तो ये एक मैनेजेरियल कल्चर फिर डेवलप होना शुरू हो जाता है मैनेजमेंट प्रैक्टिसेस का कल्चर डेवलप होना शुरू हो जाता है उस पर्टिकुलर लोकेलिटी के अंदर जहाँ पर एक या एक से ज़्यादा मल्टा जो हैं वो अपनी बेस्ट प्रैक्टिस को रोल मॉडल करती हैं सो मैनेज मल्टा कंपनीज दे आर अ वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग वहीकल ऑफ नॉलेज ट्रांसफ़र across the sub subsidiaries to uh, for their local suppliers and also as role model for the local firms
so the parent companies they export their management practices through uh, the subsidiaries and uh, they can shape the company's human resource management in major issues and um, at least up to the level of how many employees to uh, to be employed then what would be the broad training requirements of people who are employed in your organization uh, then they are able to change the working patterns ke aapne uh, 9 to 5 hi job karwani hai ya aapne flexible working hours rakhne hain ya aapne participative management style rakhna hai so working pattern kya hoga and then the multinational they can provide broad performance criteria के परफॉर्मेंस किन क्राइटेरिया के ऊपर जो है वो एवेल्यूएट की जाएगी इंडिविजुअली एवेल्यूएट की जाएगी टीम परफॉर्मेंस एवेल्यूएट की जाएगी कलेक्टिवली एवेल्यूएट की जाएगी कितनी दफ़ा एवेल्यूएट की जाएगी किन क्राइटेरियाज पे एवेल्यूएट की जाएगी तो ये सब चीज़ें जो हैं ऑल दो ये कि मल्टा लोकल कॉन्टेक्स में एग्जिस्ट करती है लेकिन जो कंपनी है वो अपनी बहुत सारी ह्यूमन रिसोर्स मैनेजमेंट प्रैक्टिस को अपने अकॉर्डिंगली जो है वो शेप कर सकती है और उससे आपका जो ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल कल्चर है आपकी ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल वर्क प्रैक्टिस हैं द वे यू डू द वर्क वो सब चीज़ें आप ट्रांसफ़र कर सकते हैं टू द सब्सिडरी मैनेजमेंट प्रैक्टिस दे कैन आल्सो बी ट्रांसफर्ड फ्रॉम वन सब्सिडरी टू अनदर सब्सिडरी एंड मल्टा कंपनीज दे हेल्प बाई प्रोवाइडिंग अनेक्सेस टू बोथ द फर्म सो इट इज़ पॉसिबल के इंडोनेशिया में Uh, कोई कंपनी जो है वो अपनी एक सब्सिडरी के अंदर कोई बेस्ट प्रैक्टिसेस जो है उनको इम्प्लीमेंट करती है तो इन uh, उसी कंपनी की एक सब्सिडरी जो है वो चाइना में है या जापान में है तो वो uh, जो इंडोनेशियन सब्सिडरी uh, ने बेस्ट प्रैक्टिसेस डेवलप की हैं जो मल्टानेशनल है इट विल प्रोवाइड एन अम्ब्रेला इट विल प्रोवाइड अ नेक्सेस टू बोथ द फार्म्स टू एक्चुअली ट्रांसफ़र that best practices which were developed in the indonesian form indonesian subsidiary to transfer them to the chinese or the japanese subsidiary so the agar multinational ka overarching umbrella maujood na ho to indonesian firm mein kya ho raha hai kya pata usko chinese firm ko kya pata lekin kyunki multinational jo hai wo unka connective tissue hai it is a nexus to provide uh, uh, connectivity to both the firms dif- uh, operating in different geographical areas that is something which is possible so knowledge transfer and management practices they can be transferred uh, from one subsidiary to the other however some countries they do not allow the establishment of multinational companies and therefore develop their own ways of doing things so kuch com- countries hain jaise for example Uh, Russia uh, before its um, uh, disintegration they were a very closed um, uh, culture similarly China before they uh, started commercialization they were a very closed country where they did not import their management practices from other parts of the world so they have developed a way of their of doing work from their own and they do not get the help from uh, other parts of the world to develop their management practices they have their own way of developing their own uh, of of their work so this is about the multinational corporations multinational corporations transfer knowledge from one place to the other they transfer uh, knowledge on various different uh, dimensions uh, they transfer knowledge between one subsidiary to the other but some countries they may not allow the transfer of knowledge because they do not allow the establishment of multinationals in their Uh, in their cultural context then the other uh, vehicle of transfer is education and we know that education has so many different ways of transferring knowledge business schools are there from which people can go and get educated then there are books and business uh, books on business subjects which are available which people can read and they can educate themselves then business magazines in which um uh best practices and uh, ad- um, advice and suggestions about running your business well they are uh, uh, they are published and on the basis of that people learn from that for example harvard business review is some is a magazine which is read all over the world and people learn a lot about how to manage their business um in uh, from from that particular publication and then there are conferences on which people can go from all over the world and can learn 
knowledge about how business is done in different parts of the world and can adopt the different practices from different part of the world so uh, education formal education is uh, an informal education is also a very important aspect of knowledge transfer and it serves as a vehicle of knowledge transfer from uh, one place to the other